asked to do a tutorial on uh, Brian Adams' classic When You Love Someone, which I uploaded onto my channel a few months ago, probably a year ago. Um, and uh, that, um, that little instrumental that I've just played is what a little thing I devised for it. It's not like the original Brian, on the original Brian Jones. Uh, track um, it's a guy playing a beautiful slide bottleneck electric guitar uh, and he's playing it the chord sequence underneath is for the sort of middle eight um, part of the song whereas I've devised that which is the chord, the, the chord sequence is the, uh, the verse I don't know why I did that, it just, uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbled. So uh, that's the main part of this tutorial, is, is my little solo there. Um, the chords, just to run through the chords of the song itself, you can get it of course on the internet, I use ultimateguitar.com. Um, Chordify is a great app, um, but here we are very quickly, it's, we're in the key of C. <laughs> When you love someone, then it goes to G. You'll do anything. A minor, you'll do all the crazy things that you can explain on the F. C, you'll shoot the moon down to the A minor. Clap the sun, G. When you love someone, and then there's a middle eight. Because the A minor, when you love someone, G, you feel it deep inside C. A minor, nothing else, G, could ever change your mind. D minor 7, when you want someone, F, when you need someone, when you love someone, G. So that's the main song. So this is the, um, the solo I devised. I'll break it down and do it very slowly. The body of it is mostly on the second string and the fourth string. Most of it is on the second string and the fourth string. I use a plectrum on my third finger now, but you obviously can do whatever you like. So we're, we're starting in the chord of C. And we're going to play the second string and the fourth string. And then we change the third and the fourth finger, go on to the third fret. So get used to that. chord of C, the right hand does what it feels like doing. And then you do the same move again, but that shape there slides to the fifth. And then it comes back down to the first position. I do another fill in there. I bring my first finger over onto the fifth string and my second finger over onto the sixth string. So those two fingers are forming the bottom of the G chord, the open G chord. So, and then I do the fill in. So that's actually, a, it looks a bit of a strange, but it's actually a G7. Just go through it again. Bring your finger. And then we're going to slide all the way up to the eighth. So, so now I'm on still on the second string and the fourth string. First finger on the eighth fret. 
third finger on the tenth fret. So what we're forming there is part of that chord, that F shape chord from C. And then the fill in there again, your right hand does what it wants to do. And then we're going to go down and produce that C shape on the sixth fret. in the C shape there, play a few uh, strings, uh, never mind if it's a slight discord there, doesn't matter. Then we go back down to the first position in that shape, and it's the same pattern. C shape, slide up, uh, I've lost myself now, oh yeah, so you do it there, and then you stretch on the fifth string. second and the fourth string you do it same same shapes with that G chord coming into the bottom that's it basically so I'm gonna go through that all right from the top C shape back to the first position G shape and then there's an optional turnaround which is more difficult on the right hand so we're going to use different strings for me to play there. Nice little turn around there. So it starts with your third finger on the on the sixth string third fret. So now the right hand is going to play the second string again, as it has done before. But we're going to play with the plectrum the sixth string. Little twang on the G on the third string, and then the, your left hand, your first finger goes on the second string, first fret. That's all we're going to do. And the plectrum plays the fifth string open. And then we have the second finger goes on the second fret, fifth string. The little finger goes on the D there on the second string third fret. See? So the plectrum is playing the fifth string and the and the uh, second string with the finger. So we start with just that G one single note on the left hand, second and sixth string. Play the third string briefly. 2nd string and 5th string open and then that shape there sacrifice you give everything you got and you won't think twice 
you risk it all No matter what may come When you love someone Yeah At my you'll choose the moon Pull out the sun When you Just been joined by the sound of my wife's hair dryer. <laughs> Don't let that put you off. Just one final thing uh, on the on the video, um, I put the capo on the fourth, I think, or the fifth, and that makes that stretch um, easier because the frets are closer together than wherever it was. I can't remember where it was, but. Uh, if you need it on the fourth fret, first of course, you'll find that whole thing becomes easier. Okay, tight strings, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.